Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. This might be late, but I finally did it. You know, I wasn't able to watch this um this fight, Akbajiri against Alexis Garcia. A fight that took place in Dominican Republic. Akbajiri did the job, got the job done in round six, stopping Alexis Garcia. I wasn't able to watch it live because I wasn't um, available. I was like, um, traveled basically. But I have to say though, when I got back, I had to rewatch it. It was nice. An excellent um, performance by Rafa Akbajiri. Yeah, he got tired in the middle round something. Like, I think he ran he ran four. He was tired. He was breathing, breathing very hard. I think that should, should stay active. Because that's not his usual self. But I'm seeing a lot of improvement. I just wish he didn't get beat by Mahmoudov because I will say this right now. That's a fight he could have actually won. You know. Um, the fight was there for him to win against Makundov. But I just guess it wasn't his night. And he's rebuilding. That's a good thing. And uh, I'm happy to see see, see him win. Um, improve his resume. And then on the skill set. Akbajir has got so many tools in his arsenal. That he hasn't unleashed yet. He's yet to unleash. I think by the time he does that. You will see something magnificent. Now 18 wins in with 17 knockouts and just one loss. Um Tajagbe. Your take on brother, Rafa Akbajiri. Stopping Alexis Garcia in the sixth round in the American Republic. A fight, you know, he was expected to win, but not in the way he did it. Was not an easy fight. Alexis was very ready to fight back. But he got it. He got a job done. And that's what matters. On to the next one. What do you make of it, bro? Let me see. Man, so I I didn't watch the fight personally, so I can't really comment on that fight. But what I can say about Akpajori is the fight with Mark Murov. That should have been. It should have been a tough fight. It was the way I the way I saw the fight was. I knew Makhmudov was extremely green behind the ears, and they were both just starting. Akpajori, Makhmudov, with Akpajori having the better skill set personally. That's what I think, and I still stand by that to this day. What what he couldn't do with Makhmudov. Is implement his jab and keep himself calm with that kind of a individual. I believe the hype was was when Mahmoud was there, and I put Jerry couldn't keep calm. He let the hype. He let that he let that guy intimidate him. He ru bull rushed him. You know, I put you should have his coaches and told him keep calm. As soon as he rushes in, jab him. Just keep calm, move back, move back, step back, jab him, jab him, you know, counter, jab, you know, easy, easy. Remember, the jab takes you where you want to go <coughs> compared to, you know, trading blows with him. But eventually, Makhmudov just did what he did, bull rush him and, you know, hitting him with some overhand rights and eventually stopped the fight. But that shouldn't be the end of it because I do still believe that Akpajori still has the skill set he needs to actually get these kind of things done. Much like, much like the way he did in his uh, in his fight against Garcia. The guy has the guy has skill set. If you saw the way Emmanuel Char, whom I didn't really rate, I didn't really I don't know much about him, but I didn't rate him as much. Dispatch uh, Mahmoudov the way that's the way Akpajori should have dispatched him. If you watch Akpajori fight, he has skill set. He's not the best, 
but he definitely has skill set to be able to handle himself. Okay, but it's only it's only the beginning for him because remember he doesn't have that much fights in, and him fighting at that big of a stage, you know, plenty of factors could be played in. But eventually he's going to continue building, and those losses are going to con- are going to turn into wins, much like he's doing right now. Uh, big ups to Aquajori. I'm looking forward to when I when they announce something different different for him. The stage is set for him. There are plenty of fighters out there, you know, that need a dancing partner, and there's plenty of opportunity out there. And the heavyweight division is not dying down yet. It's picking up. It's all the beginning, and it's good to have somebody like Aquajori in there. I'm excited to see what he does. Yeah, man, you have to give up a jury because, listen, it's not easy to turn pro very, like, basically get into boxing very late, 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 like, late. And then turn pro and then, you know, get in the ring and fight boxers that, some boxers that have, that have that turn pro way before you even came into the scene. So, it's not easy, bro. It needs, it deserves a lot of credit on what it's doing. I know there's a lot to work, it needs to work on. You know, um, he's learning on a job. Why, as a, as a pro, and it's just one of those things that happens to late comers in the game. But I believe his, his zeal, you know, and the willingness to become great is something that will put him through. You know, I just believe that. I can't wait though. I'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Let's go. Let's go. Catch you in the next one.